Hey y'all, and I haven't spoke to y'all in like a couple of days. But y'all, my tripod broken, so I have to get a new one. Um, this is my debt. I wouldn't call it a debt snowball tracker, but this is just like all of my immediate debt. Um, there are a couple of things that are missing on here, but they're not as important. Um, like they're not on my credit profile, so I'm not really worried about it. Well, I'm worried about it, but it's not as important as these. We will get to those after these are complete. But guys, as of yesterday, I actually paid off my self credit card. It was only seventy six twenty one, and so that's complete. And then the next step that I want to focus on is this one. I did label them, but um, y'all. Everything is so wacky. I just have to get an organization um, plan. But so, this is my car. Um, as you guys know, I was injured, so I'm like behind on my car payments. So, I just finished paying the July payment. So, I have to pay August and September and then October. So, um, it was, I started out having to pay $1542.76. My minimum payment is four sixteen, and then I paid three eighty five sixty nine today, and so I have eleven fifty seven left over to catch up, um, so that I can be on track for November. Um, my plan is to pay three eighty five a week for four weeks, so I have three um, weeks left. I want to have it paid before. Um, I move out. I move into my new place November 1st. So I want to be caught up on everything before I move out. Um, and then I plan on paying this one quad pay next week. It is only 90 to 11, but um, I tend to forget about things that aren't really on my credit. It isn't really going to affect me much. So this one is going to be next week. And then the next most important one is the Capital One card. I'm actually thinking about paying most of this before the end of the month as well. Um, and then this is my Discover card. It's like, I owe $994.72 on it. It's almost $1,000, y'all. And every time they add interest to it, it's like crazy. But it isn't as bad as the freaking Capital One. Capital One, y'all, you pay like, okay, so my minimum is $25. And literally, they added $12 interest. It's like, I basically only paid $13. But that's why I'm trying to pay it off now. Um, now that I'm, now that I've locked my cards away, um, I have like one subscription on each, each card and then it's on auto pay. Um, but yeah, so I plan on paying this by like January. I'm not really, you know... I don't really have a set date for it, but I'm sure it'll be paid by January. I do start back working on Thursday, y'all. I'm so excited. I had to go get a procedure done. And, y'all, I acted a fool in that hospital room because I'm allergic to um, anesthesia, like general anesthesia. So, they couldn't numb me at all. And I just had to feel everything. And it was terrible. But I did it so I can get back to work and catch up on everything. Yesterday, I was going through, like, a midlife crisis because I was like, y'all, I just want to get rid of this car. I can't pay for it. And I was just so upset. And then I was like, you know what? I looked after I made the one payment. It went down from 16 to something to 15 something. I'm like, if I make my payments, I was thinking, guys, see how this is, like, $15,628.56 left? So what I'm gonna do is for that for the month, I'm just gonna pay this much. Like you see how it's fifteen thousand, I'm gonna pay the six twenty eight fifty six so that that'll be paid off. I think that'll help me pay it faster if I instead of focusing on how much is due, I'm gonna focus on paying the hundreds off instead of um just paying my minimum. This is how much my car is um how much is left on my car i don't have a set date for that because i'm not sure um how finances will be looking in the future but that is my plan for now i will keep y'all updated 
I do need to get a new tripod so that I can get back recording for you guys. This is kind of bootleg, but I just wanted to come on here with an update for you guys. As you can see on the side, I do have these sheets. I got these off of Etsy, and this is basically like my paycheck budget for each week. If you guys have not seen my Google Doc um, bill pay spreadsheet, then you guys should go ahead and watch that. So basically what I'm going to do is like each check that I get paid, I'll be starting this once I move in, by the way. But each check that I get paid, I'm going to be labeling um, like my bills. Just going to fill it out and see what, um, which money is going where. So this is the income section and then you would list all your bills how much you're looking to save this month, and then like expenses such as groceries, clothes, all kind of things of that sort, and then debt. And then, yeah, I feel like this will help me keep up with um, my weekly paycheck. And if you guys have any tips for that, just please leave it down below. Yeah, guys, this is about it. Um, the only thing that isn't included on here is my cane and whiner. I never know if I say that right. My cane and whiner because I don't know how much it's going to come back to be. And then my tuition was just about seven something. Um, I can get that paid off pretty quickly. But I want to pay all this stuff off first because this is on my credit. That is it for today, guys. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, um just leave it down in the comments below and oh guys before i go i actually went ahead and applied for my navy, navy federal pledge loan if you guys didn't know it's basically a secured loan and it helps to build credit um i'm just trying to get my credit back in shape i am still working on um credit repair and all that and i've actually been able to repair um my friend's credit i've gotten her credit up to a 7 16 in like two months so i'm like i know i can do it i just have to do it for me anyway thank you guys i'll see you in the next video